Hello guys and welcome to the studio. Today in our FX series, we're going to take a quick look at your air spring reverb right here. So the air spring reverb, you know, it offers a unique flavor compared to the air reverb and the non-linear reverb. And this is simply because it emulates the classic sound of the spring reverb unit that is popular in the vintage guitar amps and the keyboards. That's why it's actually the spring reverb. That's why from here you can see there is no other thing to just set parameters. All you need to set is diffusion, the pre-delay, and you know, width and your low cuts, your time. And I'm sure you're already used to all of this by now. If not, there's still a link here. You can catch up on the previous effects that we've covered and that will help you to actually get a grasp of all these. Then we're talking about the reverb, which is your diffusion and then the width. Those are the only things you can set. So there are other presets that is here that you can always use. And don't forget, you can always save your presets. Once you've done anything here, you like it, you want to keep it for future use, you can actually save any parameter that you have modified. Just hit the save button, you can do that. And from your from here, you can select any of the already presets and test it out. Each time you turn this to change it, it basically just change the pre-delay time and the time and all that and the other parameters. But I would like for you to start, you know, with the initial, the initialized parameter and then you work your way, you know, up from there. So this is what you get. Okay, let's dive in right away. Then I'll show you what you get when you use the spring reverb. Just like the name implies, this is actually trying to emulate a particular reverb that is popular in the vintage guitar amps and the keyboards. So let's go. Um, for me to do that, let me take this down, take down the diffusion, leave the low cuts. I can leave the time. Then let me tap this. This is my original, the dry signal. Let me mix it up to 100 and bring only the wet signal. Did you hear that? That's basically what this is offering. You can see the efficient has done its thing again, smoothing out the reverb. Here, you can hear the cuts. But with this, smooth it out. And the width. Now it's more pronounced here, you know, like this is one of those few effects where you actually get to feel the effect of the width. Can you hear that? Put it on 50. That's basically what you get with your spring reverb. There are times that this is actually just the perfect sound you're trying to look for, and then it basically help you to, you know, get that done for you. Let me work on this low cut. 100. Sounds a bit closer. Sounds farther off. Because a lot of the low has been cut off. There are times actually I like to use this a lot for, you know, some of those sounds just to hear that spring reverb effect. It's actually good, especially when it's on something like this. It makes, you know, that subtle reverb actually makes a, lot, a whole lot of sense. You have to control the amount also so it doesn't overshadow the other instrument that you're working with. Yes. So that's basically all about your spring reverb. And I believe with this, we have already covered all the reverbs you have on the air and um, also the echoes that you have on the air. That'll be all for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and um, drop your thoughts in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next one.